Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Artifacts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this four color gradient text animation in Adobe After Effects. No plugins are required for this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and let's jump right in and get started. So I'm going to start by creating a new project by going to File, New Project. And then I'm going to click on New Composition, or you can create a new composition by going to Composition, New. And I'm just going to rename this text, and it's going to be 1920 by 1080, 25 frame rates per second, and we're going to make it a five second duration. Now I'm going to create my background layer by going to Layer, New, Solid, and I'm just going to rename this BG, and I'm going to keep the same settings and just um, a 1920 by 1080, and then keep it the background color black, and just click OK. Next, I'm going to go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp, and I'm just going to keep the top color black, but change the bottom color to a dark blue color. And then I'm going to go to my Text Tool, and I'm just going to click in the composition and type out the text. I'm just going to type out Active, and then switch to my Selection Tool to recenter the text in the center of the composition. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the character settings, which is located on the right hand side. If you don't see it over here, just go to window, make sure there's a check mark next to character. And I'm actually going to leave the text a white color because we're going to be adding a four color gradient to the text in a little bit. Um, you can change the font to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as is. And that's all we need to do for the character settings. So the next thing we're going to do is add a four color gradient to the text. And then just make sure your text layer is selected and go to Effect, Generate, for Color Gradient. And then I'm just going to change my blending mode to Normal. And then next thing we're going to be doing is adding a glow to the text. So we're going to be going under Effects and Presets. If you don't see the Effects and Presets on the right hand side, just go to Window and select Effects and Presets and it will pop up. And I'm just going to type in glow and drag that into the text layer. The next thing I'm going to add is a hue and saturation. And I'm just going to search that and add that to the text layer as well. And then I'm just going to bring up the size of the text using my selection tool. And the next thing we're going to do is animate the hue and saturation. So you always want to make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of the time graph area before we start an animation. And then we're going to click the stopwatch on the channel range. And then we're going to drag our time ruler all the way to the end of the time graph. And then we're just going to rotate the master hue a couple times. And then the next thing we're going to do is animate our gradient, our four color gradient. We're just going to be animating two points. So I'm going to click on point one. I'm going to click the stopwatch, drag the time ruler again all the way to the end of the time graph area. And I'm just going to drag this point across the composition. And then I'm going to drag the, our time ruler back to the beginning and click the stopwatch on point four. And I'm going to do the same thing, drag our time ruler to the end, and then just move our point to the opposite side of the composition. And as you can see, just by creating a couple keyframes, you can create a really cool animated gradient effect. And you can uh, play around with creating keyframes and trying different angles and points to see what kind of animation you can come up with. And the last thing we need to do is export our footage. You can do that by going to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, or Add to the Adobe Media Encoder if you want to export it as a MP4 or QuickTime file. Um, there's a bunch of different options you can choose from on the Media Encoder. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more quick tips and tutorials.